हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर अजय शर्मा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग जेम्स इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट टेक्निकल कैंपस नॉलेज पार्ट थ्री ग्रेटर नोएडा The subject that I teach in this semester for B.Tech seven semester students is optoelectronics and optical communication. And the topic that I discussed in this lecture is physical principles of APD avalanche photodiode, uh, or you must say detector. and temperature effect on avalanche gain well uh, avalanche photodiode is is different from uh, different in the sense that photodiode this photodiode has internal uh, amplification of photocorrect right so in previous video lectures we focused on uh, general photodiode and pin photodiode uh, but these uh, photodiodes that we had discussed are without uh, internal gain there is no gain in photocorrect but avalanche photodiode has some internal gain and this particular gain comes by the process avalanche process so avalanche photodiode apd it is a it is a photodiode that internally amplifies the photocurrent by an avalanche process right and there is also one difference if you compare this apd with previous photodiodes that have that that is that have a current without gain is that you require more reverse bias voltage if you compare with other photodiodes right so in apd is a large reverse bias voltage typically over 100 volts is applied across the active region so across the active region we apply a large reverse bias voltage and this voltage causes the electron uh, initially generated by the incident photon to accelerate as they move through the act apd active region right so the reason behind this uh, high reverse bias voltage is that what actually we want we want that high electric field is established in active region high electric field so due to this high electric field we have high electric force right if you look in the figure in this picture you know this is a reverse biasing look at this region this is the active region and that region is intrinsic region means high resistive region because of that most of the voltage appear on that and because of voltage there is some electric field and electric force so the electrons which are uh, yet not free are in high stress right in a in a higher stress right so avalanche photodiode matlab high gain due to avalanche multiplication effect so multiplication effect starts when one photo strikes this particular layer or intrinsic region right so one photon when there is impact of one photon on this intrinsic layer then one electrons free but the that free electron have high velocity because of high electric force right and because of this high velocity high electric force this particular free electron you know knocks neighbor bonded electron and makes them free so one photon responsible to give 
टू थ्री और फोर फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड दिस कैन बी यू नो अचीव बाय हैविंग हाई इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड और हाई इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स ऑन दिस इंटेंसिक रीजन सो एवेलेंस ए फोटोडायोड मींस हाई गेन ड्यू टू एवेलेंस ए मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफेक्ट एंड दिस इज आल्सो बी ट्रू बाय दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ नॉकिंग there is a issue of noise the noise increased in this process as far as the material is concerned the uh, this particular photodiode is manufacturing from uh, silicon you know silicon is used for this the manufacturing of this particular photodiode right so look at this this picture picture also this is your biasing this is our biasing and this this is the multiplication region this is the active region and look is look at the electric field most of the electric field appear on that region and that region have a multiplication multiplication of free electrons so one photon is responsible to give two three or more free electrons and because of that the photo current is amplified right so in avalanche photodiode as these electrons collides with other electrons in the semiconductor material they cause a fraction of them to become a part of the photograph right so this process is known as avalanche multiplication so avalanche multiplication continues to occur until the electrons move out of the active area of the apd means this multiplication occurs and because of the generation of this free electrons there they are moving to this particular region to settle down to settle down right so this multiplication continue until the electrons are settled so look at this particular picture where you know uh, this is the electron that is that that uh, that is that hits this bonded atoms right and because of this bond bonded atom hit by this free electrons with high force because this free electron have high velocity because this electron is in high electric field then another free electrons uh, that is coming from this atom are free so two electrons are there right so this is a multiplication so this is the new electron hole pair this particular right so this particular electron strikes that atom and in this from this atom this electron is also free right so in avalanche photodiode the gain of the apd can be changed by changing the reverse wise voltage right so reverse wise voltage decide uh, decide the you know decide the amount of gain that you want right so larger reverse wise voltage the result in a larger gain however a larger reverse wise voltage also results in increased noise level so because of this knocking of electrons you know and, and the random motion of the free electrons creates uh, you know a problem of noise so noise is one of the drawback or the issue in avalanche photodiode and this issue is because of the uh, you know avalanche process or multiplication process so excess noise resulting from the avalanche multiplication process plays a limit on the useful gain of the cpd again you can see this uh, picture the same as uh, this is the avalanche region right and that region have high electric field look at the amount of electric field this is the electric field right so typically uh, typical semiconductor materials used in the construction of low noise apds include silicon or indium gallium arsenide and germanium so there is some trade off uh, are made in apd design to optimize responsivity uh, and gain dark current response time and linearity so now come to a very important factor of any detector is its responsivity that we already defined in previous lecture it is the ratio of output upon input and output is nothing but it's a uh, it's a current and input is a optical power optical energy 
so this is the ratio of that and the unit of this responsibility is you know uh, ampere per watt so come to the multiplication factor uh, capital m is the multiple multiplication factor of this avalanche photodiode which is noted by capital m so multiplication factor also known as current gain m for all carrier generated in the photodiode is defined as im upon ip try to understand im and ip where im is the average value of the total multiplied output current and ip is the primary photo current so there is there is a current before multiplication start and that current is uh, a primarily photo current and after the multiplication there is a huge gain come in the picture and current is increased so that current is im so im is the current after the multiplication occurs and ip is the initial current or you may say initial uh, primary photo current now come to the this particular point so the responsibility which is r so in case of responsibility uh, in apd uh, the responsibility actually depends upon this capital m so in the expression of uh, responsibility of apd m is also multiply on that for example like this and q upon h mu sorry eta q upon h mu where eta is the efficiency quantum efficiency q is the charge h is the planck's constant and mu is the frequency that factor multiply by m right so basically this is the responsibility of uh, pin or general photodiode but if you multiply this with m this become responsibility of apd so that's why we write r not upon m where r not is the responsibility in the case of pin or uh, you know a general photodiode so this is the way so in this way this uh, responsibility of the apd actually uh, depends upon the multiplication or the current gain multiplication factor or the uh, current gain so <coughs> as far as avalanche photodiode is concerned apd is internally multiply the primary photo current before it enters to following circuitry so in order to carrier multiplication takes place the photo generated carriers must transverse along a high field region and in this region the photo generated electrons and holes gain enough energy to ionize bound electrons in valence band upon colliding with them so this multiplication is known as impact ionization so the newly cre created carriers in the presence of high electric field it result in more ionization called avalanche effect now come to uh, avalanche photodiode temperature dependence an apd is a device similar to a rectifier diode except its output current contains a term which is depend on the incident light intensity on its surface in the operating wavelength range so the apd output current is given by with this particular picture look at this so the, the current of ipd actually depends upon the temperature also so in this equation in this whole equation i apd is the apd uh, output current id is the dark photo current Uh, sorry id is the detected photo current is is the saturation dark current q is a electronic electronic charge v is the the device bias voltage of course it's a neg negative reverse bias k is a boltzmann's constant and t is the temperature so the current in apd actually depends upon the temperature so so <coughs> now apd responsibility this this is again a theoretical expression of responsibility and it is also depends upon gain g uh, g gain means may, you can you can also replace this g by uh, maybe m m is also come in the picture but this m is replaced instead of then we write this g in g this is gain so in this particular expression this is the expression of responsibility where eta is the wavelength dependent quantum efficiency g is the apt internal gain h is a planck's constant c is the speed of light lambda is the wavelength of the incident light so at a constant bias voltage the apt temperature operating temperature affects its output current 
so the apt gain and therefore this responsivity is a strong function of the device temperature on the other hand the apt dark current as well as the dark current noise is also depends on apd temperature look at the graph if in this particular graph you can see temperature versus responsivity so if you increase the temperature the responsivity is decreased so if you minimize the temperature responsivity increase so this is a very useful graph to show the uh, dependence of responsivity on temperature and thank you very much